Yo, he just pants him. <laughs> Disrespect. Why did he do that? He just stole my man's trousers. Welcome back, you guys. I'm Kieran. I came out of the womb watching anime, and we're about to react to episode 10 of Jujutsu Kaisen. We are now in double digits, which is crazy. And you know what else is crazy? This is my first ever Christmas jumper. We're in December. It's Christmas season. Holiday spirit. We've got a little Christmas tree going up right there. You see that? That has been put up uh, for our Twitch channel, our audience on Twitch. If you can see a little Twitch pillow over there. I don't know how you guys miss that in every other video, but hey, make sure you head over to our Twitch channel, especially if you want to uh, feature on our tree. These little uh, Christmas ornaments here. I decided to write all my uh, Twitch subs names on them. So yeah, go on over to Twitch, get yourself uh, get yourself your, your name on my tree. But yeah, let's get straight into the episode. I'm not going to lie. We just met Nanami last episode, but something about him is ringing death flags. Like I feel, I feel like it's something to do with the fact that uh, he didn't like Yuji at the start and he's starting to warm up to him like that's the kind of character they use to be like Oh, yeah, yeah, yo, you know, you're warming up to this character. They're cool. Look, he has a Persona 5 finisher You see that? Look, he got them nice Soge King goggles from One Piece. Oh, he's dead. So like The way I'm feeling right now It's not looking too good for him. We also do need to see more of a display of strength for um, for the curse that uh, lured in the boy. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot that curse's name. I know. I know we've been told it, but uh, is it Ma Ma Mahito? Mahito? Something like that. I don't remember. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna be completely honest. I've been watching too many anime, and names are leaving my brain. If I got that right, then I'm a god. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you love anime content. We got some short anime clips going up on TikTok as well. If you want to check that out, I know you're embarrassed for me, but hey, if you like TikTok, just go give it a watch. Oh, are we getting a flashback? Movie club? Wait, was that kid? Who's now joined the curse in movie club or something? Oh, yeah, it is him. You can tell he's got the emo hair. Oh, what the hell? Oh, some delinquents came in? Is this the same guy? Come on, that was unnecessary, sir. His whole Blu-ray. Look at the look in Yoshino's eye. Oh, he's got something about him. We're getting his whole villain backstory. Last episode flashback wasn't enough? Wait, he's taking what home? The DVD under his foot? Yeah, I thought so, yeah. He, he about to get kicked for that now. I like this guy though, I like that he has the attitude to stand up to him. You knew he was gonna get kicked. Man, this guy's really been bullied, like... What is this guy's problem? He just wanted to take his DVD home. I hate guys like that. Stupid, dude. We're like wild animals. Mistaken translation? The opposite of love is indifference. Oh, so in Japan, they changed it? Wait, is this just a random curse around the corner? What's going on? Oh, that's a person! What? So he's just like... Changing the shape of them to see if he can make them bigger and smaller as well. He's just experimenting. What does it mean he doesn't know if he's used to curses? You know what? What's crazy is this is actually a really normal mindset. Indifference is the virtue people ought to strive. Yeah, I was about to say, like, indifference is actually very common within humans, right? Like, he's indifferent about people he doesn't care about or know, but when it comes to himself and people he loves in his life, um, of course he's not going to be indifferent. Like, yo, Jujutsu Kaisen has some very, very interesting um, morality questions, especially with uh, Fushiguro at the start as well, and his thing about not wanting to save criminals, but only wanting good people to live. The soul has a metabolism? And that's what he changes in order to change people's appearances and stuff? Souls are no more physical. Okay, so he's basically saying the soul is just the same as a physical body apart from people can't see it. That's kind of interesting concept. I guess like, if it exists, it would kind of just be like that, right? Like the soul would just be a soul. But because we can't see it, we're like, oh, the soul, it's so mystical. But if someone can see the soul and they exist, it's just like, oh, it's just the same as a body. All right, so we're back to these two following him. What happened to the box Yuji was holding? <laughs> She's still being spun by Panda? God damn it. What kind of training even is that? A fly head. All right, so what does it do, though? Oh, I see. So they're just going to test him with, like, a really weak spirit to make sure that he is someone who can... Or curse, rather. To make sure that he is someone who can see curses. Right, that's a really interesting way. It's kind of shady, but it's a really interesting way to see who this guy is and what he can do, right? 
Wait, is this Nanami? Yeah, it is. Oh, he's just killing random curses. Well, people. There he- Okay, here's the fight. So they are gonna fight. This is pretty much what I assumed since he wasn't going with Yuji. I hate overtime. Yo, he's still a businessman from the jump. Still a typical salaryman. That's funny. Actually, wait. Don't salarymen usually do overtime a lot? Gojo, what the hell, dude? He'll, he'll murder who? Oh! Oh, he's saying he's similar to Gojo. Okay, hit him with cursed energy. Did that do much? His Persona 5... Oh, it did work. Okay, I was about to say his Persona 5 finisher didn't work. But yeah, he did mad damage. Can he recover that? Similar to Sukuna? What came first, the soul or the body? What kind of chicken in the air question is this? Yeah, literally the same question. I... If I had to guess, I guess the body is around the soul. Based on how his power works. The body forms around the soul. Because he's able to configure... How the, uh, how the body is around the soul, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm smart, big brains, let's go. Right, so he alters someone's soul and that changes their, uh, their shape, physically. That's interesting. He gives a stockpile of humans, like they're bullets. Do you think he has Jujutsu Sorcerers? Like stockpiled? Or is he asking that question because he hasn't yet and he wants him? <laughs> this man's like, yo. I'm finishing at 6 p.m. I'm not a salary man anymore. No more overtime. Wait, is that one of his teachers? Wow, his teachers are like, oh, you hear those guys are dead? So casually. Yeah, they were not friends. Good joke, teach. Were they lying to the teacher? Wow! Oh, he's gonna kill this teacher. I was about to say, why is this teacher here? Wow, I called him an overgrown child. He's gonna take it out on the teacher. I was about to say, why is this teacher being such a douche, though? For no reason. Like, what if they were his friends? And oh, he about to... Thank God Yuji came in. <laughs> this idiot, dude. Yo, maybe they can recruit him, though. Yo, he just pants him? <laughs> Disrespect. Why did he do that? He just stole my man's trousers. You, Yuji? Okay, I knew he was fast enough to make it back around. True, he didn't have to embarrass the teacher. <laughs> oh, but you hate that. Oh, that's why I embarrassed him for him. Okay. Yuji's pretty good at reading people then, huh? Wait, that teacher was just sitting outside his house waiting for him then. Yo, that's freaking weird. The animation is incredible, dude. Mappa killer every anime. I can't wait for Attack on Titan. Man, I want to see this guy fight Gojo now. Wait, is that person still alive? Is that Sorcerer then? Because he posed that question. I don't know. I feel like some of them may actually be alive. Oh, they don't die right away. So it is still alive. Oh, he wiped his tear. Bro, is he about to kill it after wiping his tear there? What? That was too quick. There's no way. Ah, uh, he changed his legs to like a, a bull or a horse's leg so it can be quicker. That's a clever way to use that ability. Yo, he, that makes this guy really scary. I wonder if Gojo can protect his soul with his infinity. Dude, the choreography and the cinematography is incredible. He's just chilling up there with his goat legs, looking like Mr. Tumnus from Narnia. Is he buying time for something? Why is he looking at his- Oh, oh yeah, he doesn't want to do overtime, right? <laughs> I'm going into overtime. Okay, is this like a power-up? Hmm. Yeah, that was a pretty decent episode of Jujutsu Kaisen, I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't the best episode we've gotten so far, but it was definitely super interesting. I, man, after seeing the fight between Nanami and this this curse i feel like my my whole death flag theory yeah i'm definitely scared now because I, I had a feeling they'd face up against each other the way that um that it was set up last episode but man he can only get touched two more times before this fall is gone i don't know man i hope he comes up with something like i'm i mean now we're seeing this power up actually now i think about it so it's possible that the power up can help maybe you know buy him enough time so that he can gain a sense of his soul so we can protect it i'm hoping that's the case but yeah you guys let me know what you thought of this episode um it seems like yuji's definitely striking up a friendship uh with our our little villain in the making so i i don't know where that's gonna go i think it's probably gonna be uh maybe 
Yuji saving him or him falling over to the curse's side, but it seems as though he has sorcerer powers, so that could be another potential powerful um, Jujutsu sorcerer that we can have for our team, so we'll see where it goes. Again, you guys let me know what you thought of the episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.